Hello everyone, wanted to share with you a canvas roll I created of my Poodle Princess. And I used this canvas fabric that I picked up at my local Hobby Lobby. I also started another one with this other fabric um, that you could pick up at your local Joanne. And it's the same in the front as well as the back. And I'm going to add some batting in the inside. And it makes a really beautiful roll, you can see. You can make some really pretty shabby chic ones, um, really nice vintage one. So there's a ton of possibilities creating these. Um, you can even use, here I started a mixed media one with some corrugated board. If you want to use design paper, I would recommend to add Mod Podge to the front and the back to give it the flexibility to roll. Um, so these are super fun to make, so give it a try. So this one, um, I made all the measurements the same, so they're 3 and 3 quarters by 36 inches in length. And I distressed the edges. Um, I used my sewing machine um, to add some stitching to the top and the bottom, and I also sewn um, some of the laces that are inside the roll as well. Or you can use your hot glue gun. My mom gave me this really neat, um, it's a liquid stitch, stitchless sewing adhesive. It dries clear and it's permanent. And I'm not sure exactly where she got this, but this is really awesome. Um, I believe she got it at her local Beverly, but um, you can check your any of your local uh, fabric stores. But this is really a um, nice adhesive. And you can see here I layered lots of trims. I first sprayed the canvas to the front and the back with some Lindy Stamp Gang um, Flat Fabio Spray um, to give it some color in the background. And for the closure is a rosette flower. I add a pearl in the center and uh, some Iron Roses leaves, which I add some glitter on top. And then I just add some Velcro. So really fun. I don't mind the fraying um, on the canvas. I really, you know, I think I've mentioned a couple times in my videos that I like the way that looks. And let me open it up for you. And I add three photos of Princess in here. So you can see here, I layered a lot of my trims and um, embellishments, and this is just so cute to put together. So you can see here, I add rosette and lots of my trims. Um, here I add this um, bingo card that I had for the longest time, and I finally got to use it. And I add some stitching to that as well. And then here's her photo. And then I spelled out poodle using some chipboard letters. Um, here's some buttons. You can even use some die cuts. Um, here's another photo of her. And this is some vellum die cut. And a flower I made using some Webster's trim. And here's some more I'm Roses leaves. Another one of those bingo cards. And her photo. And this is one of uh, Diana's um, wood pieces, and then some more chipboard piece that spelled out fun. So my main focus was using a lot of the trim you could see. And it's really, again, really fun to put together. So I can't wait to um, make this one and the mixed media one next. So give it a try, and then you just roll it back, like so. And then you just add the Velcro. You can add, would be cute too if you add uh, maybe some ribbon and you can tie it. That would be cute too if you don't want to do the Velcro trim. I mean, Velcro closure. And it makes a cute roll, just like that. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye.